He made the transition to the rotation in the middle of May, and he has been record breaking. What Javier did in his last two starts that has never happened before in Major League history is combine 27 or more strikeouts in two starts with one hit or fewer. Merrifield's hit safely in each of his last five games, had a couple of hits yesterday. And here is Witt getting into one, hammering it deep to left. And backing up is the left fielder, and that ball is going to be gone. Home run with Merrifield off Christian Javier. That is his second career home run against Christian Javier. And now the Royals have scored first in their last seven games. Right there below the belt. Typically, he's above the belt. But I just said, if he's down there around thigh high, he can be hit. MJ Melendez stands in the Royals catcher left handed hitter 225 average 317 on base percentage nine homers 21 RBIs and attendee runs and Melendez swings and misses the throw comes in on a bounce and Ben attendee is safe second base umpire Adrian Johnson looked like he was ready to call him out and Ben attendee appeared to do a swim move slide at second base and avoid the tag that stayed out of a double play. So it'll be Hunter Dozier who has driven in five on the trip. Fastball is belted to left field and gone. So the Royals get three in the first inning against Javier on two home runs. Dozier bulldozed that one right out of the yard. And sure enough, Maldonado wanted it away and it was middle. There it was. So he's missed so far twice with that fastball that normally he gets above the belt, but not tonight so far in his first inning. Brad Keller now will pitch in the bottom of the first inning with the Royals leading 3 0. Keller now faces Jeremy Pena. That time a slider puts away Pena. Two up and two down. But Keller, on the other hand, starting his ball game today by getting after that strike zone. Looks really crisp so far. Emmanuel Rivera, the third baseman, getting his first action in this series. Rivera batting 207, with five homers, 18 RBIs in 47 games. Now Rivera hits one deep into left center field, and that is home run number three for the Royals tonight. That's Rivera's second of the road trip, and it's 4 0 KC in the second. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Javier had only given up five homers. The entire season coming into this game. Rivera's home run going 429 feet. That's an important double play because now you have a runner at third base and two out. The batter is Jake Myers. On the ground, past the backhanded try by Emmanuel Rivera. That will score Alex Bregman. Jake Myers brings in the run. It's now a four to one game. Ball was hit hard down that third baseline. That second hop just jumped on Rivera and got past him. That's nine runs batted in for Myers now in his 11th game. A leadoff walk and now back to back flyouts to left by Royals hitters. And that'll bring up Hunter Dozier, who now has a six game hit streak with his two run homer. And Attendee is running. And Dozier got that breaking ball and hits it to left field. And McCormick at the wall will play it high off the wall. And as he stumbles, Benintendi comes around third and Hunter Dozier is driven in three tonight and the Royals lead 5 1 in the third. Wasn't one of those chase pitches down there. He left that hittable and just a foot from being a homer. Maybe two. Benny running on the play sure helped him. Jordan Alvarez leads off inning number four for Houston. The Royals lead this game 5 to 1. And 3 2 count here as he pops a foul. Is it going to stay in play? It's down the left field line. Long run Ben and it's going to drop in. Jordan has himself extra bases. That is going to be a double touch by a fan. Not sure it would have mattered. Jordan safely in with a looping double the other way. These are the anomalies. You can't protect against these right here. A drop shot. Benintendi tried his best with first and second. Nobody down for Kyle Tucker. Set the stage for victory in the opener. This ball's going to find a hole into center field. Jordan will score. Over to third goes Bregman. It's a 5 2 game. Kyle Tucker, RBI number 57 on the year. It was to the right of where Whit Merrifield was positioned, and he couldn't quite get there. Second and third, one out. And here's Jake Myers. Has an RBI double. 
On the ground, Nicky Lopez will take the sure out. The Astros will take the run. It's 5 3. And Myers drives in his second run of the game. That's what he wanted to do, really, with the infield back. He, if he's going to make contact on the ground, that's where you do it. Well, that means Diaz, the batter, with two out of nobody on. He is 0 for 2, reached on a fielder's choices last time. Diaz drives one to left field. That ball will be gone. I'll let Miss Diaz. His last three home runs have come against the Kansas City Royals. He waited over a month before his home run last night. Now he has one in back to back games. And it was on the fastball that Ledmiss can turn around some heat. He was actually a little bit out in front of this one. One hands it out of here. Dubon up at the plate with the bases loaded for the first time this season. Right handed batter. He has grounded out twice and he's flying to left. Over the bag and Witt will take it to second. So the Astros get. Just the one run on the Diaz home run, and now at the end of six, the Royals lead 5 4. And Kyle Isbell is going to come off the bench and hit for Edward Olivares. The 3 0 to Isbell. Four pitch walk, and it'll be Michael A. Taylor with the bases loaded and two down. Two and two on Michael A. Taylor. Got him. Ryan Stanek strikes out Michael A. Taylor. He is fired up. That's 22 and two thirds consecutive scoreless. Doing it with his best pitch, bringing the noise, trying to fire up this offense for that comeback. So two out. Lopez at third for Benintendi. He's walked twice and singled. Benintendi hits it well, right center field. That is down. Andrew Benintendi gives the Royals a two run lead in the ninth inning, and he's into second base with a two out double. Oh yeah that's the right man in the right spot to get that job done there for sure man he picked him up with his 13th double he's in scoring position two outs for MJ Melendez and now Melendez hits it into center field Benintendi scores and the Royals have a three run lead in the ninth inning and that's MJ's first hit and all of this with two outs boy I'll tell you those those extra insurance runs were huge for Scott Barlow he'll tell you that now he's going to do his normal thing out there. Pena is 0 for 4 with the hat trick. And Pena grounds it past Barlow. Merrifield is there and in time to end the game. And the Royals have themselves a victory. 7 to 4, the final score.